Ah, you've returned. returned.
Stop! Do not come any closer. Who are you? I am Kabash. Now, your turn. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors, hmm? Hmm. To what end? Hmm. That is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. Now, as for the other plaque. Indeed, I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit, and there it was. You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. I will tell you, but first, do you know what this place is? It has a name, and that is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story, and here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers, but instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. You are too late. It is done. It could not have gone any other way. It was Osiris's will. Now, the thing of evil you sought is gone. Why are you still here? I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman, like my father before me. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help, 
I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, a passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself and he tried to bribe me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kirti, and at the time I simply thought him odd. It did not dawn on me until much later that he was THE Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. This is where I belong, as caretaker of the memories of my people. If our ways are to be remembered, it falls to me. I think if someone is to break the golden rule, it will not be me, for I try to live as I always have by the command of the goddess Ma'at. Do to the doer to make him do. As for the punishment that will come from it, I finally understand why it has long been said among my people that gold is the skin of the gods. I do not know what could possibly lie beneath the underworld. Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Perhaps it is the lair of Amit the devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. Most unwise. Good. Be gone from this place. Wait. You are planning to go down there. I see it in your eyes. I urge you, return to the surface with the Romans. It will be safer for you. That lamp, praise Ra. Truly, the gods are powerful in the
when I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege. But you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? That may be true of many things, but this is different. If our gods were copied and corrupted from an older civilization, does that not mean they are false? Does that not mean our prayers to our gods all fell on deaf ears because we were not even addressing them by their true names? Hmm, now that I think about it, my people would sometimes call Osiris the god of many names. Perhaps it is so, but the underworld of my people is so different to this one, and so unlike the way it was described by our priests. Many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis's scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Now you insult me and all of my ancestors. You have sealed your own fate. Ha, good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. When I told you that you would not that, you will. I, you, very wise. 
that does that hmm but the many are we prepared to and yet I arrived did our I am hmm perhaps there is some truth in that what is your point Hmm. You are persuasive. Very well. I will let you live, and you may do what you will with that plaque. I will remain here for a while, and attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Go. You again. What is it now? Of course, as the Romans say, may fortune smile on you.
Ah, you've returned. Good to see you again, friend. Did you find what you need? I enjoyed our chat, but please, keep my presence here a secret, yes? Ave again. Did you find what you need? See you again soon, I hope. I hope you're coping. Oh. It's you again. Is everything all right? All right. Thank you again for saving my life.
The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Lovely to see you again. Can I help you with something? Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Sentius. Dacius. Sentius. Virgil. Sentius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. Sentius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Sextus Sentius Imperiosus. My fellow citizens, you've placed your trust in me once again, and you won't regret it. I vow that each day henceforth will be just like this one, and I will deliver. You, a new arrival, whatever your name is, you're responsible for this, aren't you? Nobody likes cap at Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Shut up and let the magistrate speak. Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Wait, I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. 
Lies! It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is, a children's fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Look! 